Le, le, Libra. What's up, y'all? This is the goddess Hat Hare. And I'm about to do a general love reading for you, Libra, for the month of September. Okay, now, Libra. This this just ain't going to resonate with you all, okay? It ain't going to resonate with all Libras out there. However, those who it do resonate with, man, like, share, and subscribe. Come on, man, Libra. Subscribe, man. You know I want to have you as a subscriber. You know I want you to comment on my page, man. Come on. I want to hear from you, Libra, okay? Now, those of you who this don't resonate with, man, I got you next time, man. Don't even worry about that. You know I got you, man. So, Libra, this is your energy, okay? This is your energy and how you feel and what's going on with you, man. Now, this is your partner, Libra. This is the possible outcome for your union, man. Okay? All right. Libra, now you're stepping on a scene that with your energy as the sword energy. The ace of swords, man. This is a great exaltation of strength, okay? Great ox. You know, this is great power. Great power. Also symbolic of the male private. And using them to be intimate with your lover. Okay? Now your lover. Uh, damn. Well, Libra, while you all in your exaltation of strength and power, your lover is dealing with sufferance. Okay? Being, you know, they suffering right now with the two of wands, man. They suffering and they're sad, man. They're uncertain in their abundance, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just some, you know, some crazy stuff right there, man. All right, though. Damn. This is the possible outcome of your union, which is the four of pentacles. Now, as you can see in this illustration, they have their hands raised in prayer. They are praying here, okay? They're praying to the all. They're praying to their ancestors. They're praying to the overseers. They're praying to their higher self. Okay? Now, they're praying in regards to either closing out this whole cycle with you or investing with you. Okay? Investing in the relationship or closing out in the relationship, man. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers here, man. Now, Libra, I'm the goddess hat hawk. Which means that I shuffle at least nine times before I even step on the scene, man. But I do another two for that divine union. You feel me? For that divine union, Libra. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, get some clarifiers on, on you, man. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Libra. Okay, okay. Hmm. Now, Libra, you got two cards that came out. Okay, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, now the Knight of Pentacles is talking about, okay, great power. Great power, you can't be in great power with stagnant energy. You know what I'm saying? If you got a great exaltation of strength, then this right here is a businessman or a businesswoman. So you are great in your power in regards to your business, okay? Minding your business or some type of business you have for money. You know what I'm saying? All that is giving you power. It's the pinnacle here, okay? Now here's the five of, of a chalices, okay? The five of chalices deals with karmic cycles or oh, them in karmic i meant cosmic cosmic cycles man okay now cosmic cycles well that's dealing with divine timing okay so you're going to be here for some time you're going to be in your power 
in, in regards to your business, in regards to the things that you're doing for your pinnacle for quite some time. Now, that right there, or you have been. That right there is making your partner suffer because, dude, you all about that pinnacle, man. You all about your great power, Libra. Okay, you ain't even, I don't know if you've been paying attention to your partner, man. Let's get some clarifiers on their feelings, man. Okay, nah, nah, nah. That's eight cards that turned over, man. Come on, cards. Come on, overseers. Come on, ancestors, man. Clarify. Okay. 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 What? Okay. Um. Well, Libra, this is the uh, Knight of Swords. Now, man. Okay. Now, the Knight of Swords mean that your partner is either rushing out. Of this sadness and suffering and uncertain of abundance or uncertainty of abundance or it means they're just rushing in you know what I'm saying they're rushing away from you because they are sad because you are all into your business uh, all into your pinnacle okay so they're rushing the hell away from you they running like a mother you know what I'm saying they're getting the hell out of that mother okay come on what oh oh Okay. Ah. Oh, man. This is the devil, man. This is the devil. Okay. Damn. Okay, well, man, let's talk about it, man. No, we're going to have to talk about it, man. Okay, now, uh, your partner is suffering and sad because they have uncertainty of abundance in regards to you or this is your energy so they're running away from you although they might not be able to get away from you because they may be chained to you you know what i'm saying they may be bound to you and that's the reason why they're running like hell because they're trying to be unbound because you all about your pinnacle you all about your money all about your business you know what i'm saying you ain't even worried about them right now okay or they're running away from you or charging into you because they have a great sexual desire for you. And that's the reason why they're suffering. Because and you here for some time. You ain't even moving. So it's like, okay, they're dealing with, you know, having this great desire for you. And rushing in, kicking down the door, man. I ain't trying to hear about you and your business. I ain't trying to hear about you being powerful. Let me show you my power, man. Okay. Clarify that daggone four of pentacles. Oh, man. Clarify the four of pentacles. Come on, man. Come on. What the heck is this? Cards turned over. Let me turn these cards back over, man. What the hell is man? Come on, deck. Get in order. Get in order, deck. All right, overseers. Okay, okay. Okay. Libra. Now, I would say they're investing. Okay, because this is a ten of chalices. Okay, so they prayed and they came to a conclusion that they're going to invest in you or you're going to invest in them. This can be your energy. This can be their energy. That could be your energy or that can be their energy, Libra. So this is a happy family, the ten of chalices. This is a happy family. This is a happy wife happy husband happy life okay so they're definitely investing in this but let's see let's see you know see what the cards tell us man you know it may look like one way and it don't be that way man maybe some other old way man okay okay man so you know i'm just about tired of my cards doing this so i'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and take all four of these okay <laughs> My cards want me to take all four of these. I'm going to take all four of these. And my ancestors like, man, I'm going to show you. You're going to take four cards. Okay? Okay. So, all right. Here we got the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles is talking about uh, a reward. It's talking about gifts. And it's talking about, you know, this right here is a gift. This, um, this relationship or, you know, this ten of chalices. Or this investment in the ten of chalices in you or in your partner. Okay. Now we got the goddess Mayotte. The goddess Mayotte is talking about balance. 
an equal give and take, man. Because somebody's all about one thing here. They ain't even trying to give into the relationship. So it's not an equal give and take here. But now there's going to be an equal give and take, okay? Now the God Asar steps on the scene, okay? The God Asar steps on the scene as the emperor. The emperor is talking about some earthly power. He's talking about some authority. He's talking about, you know, this is the emperor, you know what I mean? Or it could be the empress. It can go both ways, male or female. But this is talking about authority. Somebody has authority here. And with this great power, they are given an equal give and take, okay? Here we got the two of swords here. And with well, the two of swords, man, that's talking about, uh, you know, being very friendly with each other. And being very tender. Tenderly. So the emperor's coming on. Tenderly. Check him out, man. Check him out to this daggone Queen of Pentacles, which is the minor arcana for the Empress. Okay, so the Emperor is being tender towards the Empress, his wife. You know what I'm saying? The love of his life. This is, you know, this is the uh, beautiful Queen. You know, she is all about that daggone money too, man. It ain't just about you. It's about her too, man. She is the mother. She is the lover. She is all things. You know what I'm saying? Check her out, man. She's beautiful as hell, man. Clarify. Clarify, Emperor. Being beautiful and loving towards his wife, man. Okay. Okay. The God Haru. As the chariot. Okay. The God Haru as the chariot is talking about uh, being triumphant and successful winning the war okay let's look at it let's talk about it man let's talk about it man okay now you investing or your partner is investing in a happy union with you this is your future okay in a happy life happy husband happy family okay this is a gift this is a reward this is an equal give and take this is justice going on here okay the goddess maya and then the god asar gonna step on the scene talking about earthly power and then the two of swords man the two of swords stepping on the scene talking about being tender talking about being uh uh, you know, being tender. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What the heck, that daggone uh, chariot? Chariot came in somewhere else, man. No, 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 no. The chariot is right there. Okay, let's leave the chariot right there. We're gonna leave the chariot right there. Being tender with his empress. So we got that right there. Being tender with his uh, his empress, his queen of pentacles. So this is a couple right here. Being successful with each other. Being balanced with each other. Yeah, okay, that goes right there. Okay, that's where it went, okay? Being balanced with each other, okay? And, you know what I'm saying? Having strength and power, okay? And beauty and a marriage. This is a marriage right here. You married, Libra. You married, Libra, to somebody who you're being tender with. Somebody being tender with you. This is a beautiful mate you have here, okay? This is a beautiful wife. Beautiful husband. Strong husband, okay? Strong and beautiful husband. Come on, man. Give me some more clarifiers, man. Come on, man. Give me some more clarifiers, man. Come on, man. Okay. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Come on, star. Step on the scene. God has had heart. Step on the scene, man. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's talk about it. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Okay. This tender, beautiful, loving relationship is now healed in the future. This is the star, man. This is talking about healing and love and, and you know, uh, getting your wish. You know, this is talking about beauty. This is a beautiful uh, queen of pentacles stepping on the scene and clarifying her as the star, healing energy loving energy you know poetic energy you know dancing around you know what i'm saying see how beautiful she is right here but she dressed right here right now she ain't dressed so the emperor you know what i'm saying the emperor tenderly and softly unhandled his business because he's stepping on the scene as the ace of uh 
swords, okay? So that right there is a strong, a strong use of sexual energy. How? Okay. So that's healing. Let's get you one more card, Libra. Let's get you one more card or what else is that got to say, man? Why is this card turned over? <laughs> Let me go ahead and turn that back around, man. My deck is be doing stuff crazy, man. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now here's the deck on Queen of Chalices. Oh, Libra. Yes, Libra. Yes, Libra. Look at this, Libra. Oh. Wow. Come on, Libra. Bring it. Okay. This is uh, a wife, a beautiful wife. This is a loving wife. This is a emotional and sensitive wife that has been healed, man. That is now beautiful. That is now being tender and loving towards the empress or the emperor. Okay, come on, man. Yeah, so you ain't you started off all about your business and was there for quite some time. Now your partner is coming in or you're coming in with some strong sexual energy breaking down the door man okay you're breaking down the door man to make love to make love okay so you invested in your ten of chalices you got rewards you got triumphant and success you got balance man you got strength and uh earthly strength you you're being tender, okay, and loving towards your queen, who is the star, man. And she's pouring out all that. See this chalice? See, she's pouring out this water. That's the queen of chalices, emotion, and beauty, man. Yes. Yes, man. And that is your outcome. That is your outcome, Libra. That's what's up. That's what's up, Libra. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what the crystals got to say, Libra. What type of advice does the crystals have for this beautiful reading? What advice do the crystals... Okay. Okay. Pink granite. Pink granite. Oh, what a beautiful crystal, man. Okay, we got number 36 on the 9, Libra. On the 9. And that's talking about the lightning bolt, okay? Now, this crystal on this page is next to the twin flame soulmate crystal. So, that says something right there too, man. So, let's turn this down, man. Okay, so Libra, everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. Okay, so you have to end this. This is death, okay, and rebirth. Come out of this. Your partner is desiring you to the highest degree, Libra, okay? Okay, now. Be assertive and make things happen. Events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention. Intention, okay? See the whole picture before uh, deciding. Be pragmatic, but don't give away power, okay? So, yeah, you in your great power here, but be pragmatic and come on up out of it without losing your power, okay? Maintain balance in a relationship. See? That daggone, uh, uh, Mayot. Where she at? Where she at? Right here, man. Mayot, yeah. Bring that balance in. Bring that balance. Maintain that balance. Don't just be about one thing, man. Be about both things. Or your partner need to be about both things, man. You need diplomacy and tact. Lightning can strike twice. If Dealing with ancient strife. Look at the bigger picture. Ah, that's very interesting. Now, the self overstanding is you, Libra, are an ancient Egyptian with the arcane knowledge 
that role entails. Okay. But you originated in the stars. You understand or overstand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, and immortality. This is deep. This is deep. But let's continue. You have been involved in ancient power struggles. Cut yourself loose. Become more grounded. Learning experiences occur regularly and serenitous. What's that word? Serenitous. I can't even see it. Forget it. It says, synchronicities put you in exactly the right place at the right time. I think that was serendipitous. <laughs> serendipitous. What the heck type of word is that, man? Anyway, I'm going to look that up. Anyway, it says, the pink granite has the highest paramagnetic resonance of all stones and creates immense energy. Damn. Let's see that again. Pink granite has the highest paramagnetic resonance of all stones and creates immense energy. Ah, now that's deep. It says the frequency is earthy to high. Now as a air sign, I must conclude as an air sign. And you know I am also an air sign. I am an Aquarius. Yeah, I'm aqua. I'm aqua. Now, I know as a Libra that, you know, we are not as grounded. You know, Libra, Gemini, and Aqua. We're not as grounded. You know, we, we travel through different dimensions and, and different time zones and, you know, stepping outside of time and space. You know, so we have great power, great power to do these type of things. However, when we get into relationships in this earthly realm, we have to, you know, step down to the earth sometimes. Don't always be there, man. Be there too, too long, man. Now it says, uh, the chakra is all. Now who you're dealing with is definitely a water sign, a cancer, Scorpio, uh, uh, Pisces. You're also dealing with a earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. You're dealing with a uh, air sign too, man. An air sign like you, like a, a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? Now, a lightning conductor for a positive change is the soul path. Okay, Libra. So, you got you got that. You got that, the daggone pink granite. You got that, man. You good. You good. You good. You good. All right, right now you all into this and you're going to be into this for some time, which is causing your, your partner to suffer. But in the end, in the end, Libra, and I mean a beautiful ending, man. Ah, oh, ah, oh, in love with it. All right, so yeah, I'm not giving any personal readings, uh, not right now anyway, but in the near future, you will find the goddess hat hard doing some personal readings. But if this did resonate with you, Libra, man, subscribe. Comment to my page, man. Tell me how you felt about this reading. Tell me how much it resonated with you. Okay. And, man, you know I want to hear from you, Libra. Come on, man. You Libra. You, the, you Libra. Of course I want to hear from you, man. Come on. All right. So much love to you, Libra. Hope you enjoyed your reading like I enjoyed reading it for you, mate. All right. Hotep.